Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to, or welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're going to be reacting to a news feature that I was in a few months back. So I've actually been in multiple of these, but we're just going to be reacting to this one. So let's hop right into it. Games for this summer. The talented 12-year-old had hopes of playing for the 2020 Canadian Championship hosting Leiritz Little League squad until that COVID-19 curveball changed everything. So that was really sad and heartbreaking when that got cancelled. So without- Alright, so I just want to say right away, for some reason for me watching this back always makes me cringe. I find this anytime I watch any of my videos. I'm not sure if that's just because I'm a cringy guy or if I just cringe at myself. But I find I just can't really watch uh, videos of me. Um, not really too sure why. Oh, baseball. Yeah. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Hockley threw himself into something new. I had a lot of time on my hands, so I decided, you know, I'm bored, why not make the most of it? I've always thought about it. Mm, I want to point out that phone in the background, I was actually recording from my behind the scenes video. So if you're not aware, I have a video on my channel of behind the scenes. Um, this one was Czech News, so that's kind of what that camera was in the back. And I just want to say how it felt when they came to my house. I was super nervous because I wanted to give them a good interview and this was actually my first ever time uh, actually being interviewed on the news. So this one was a great opportunity. I want to be give a big shout out to Czech News for this opportunity. But yeah, my I was just filled with adrenaline. I remember this whole interview, my legs were just like shaking uncontrollably and I felt like I stumbled a lot, but hey, it turned out great and we're just gonna check this out. I also want to point out this is not my first time ever seeing this. Of course, I saw it when it aired on TV. But enough rambling, let's hop into this. Starting a YouTube channel, so this is like the perfect opportunity for me. He had to kind of rechannel his focus and his energy, so he's, he's put a lot of time into building his YouTube channel and trying to entertain people. He has a lot of fun with it. <laughs> for the past few months, Hockley has shot, hosted, and edited several videos to share with the world. His YouTube channel's biggest hit so- I love how they say share with the world, that sounds pretty cool. So far, this eye-catching upload. My most popular video is my owl video where I went to Quarry Park to film some barred owls. Wow. My eyes just like did something so weird. I always do not like watching that back. My eyes are like just blinking. I Let's just see that again. I don't know what, what, what was happening there. I don't know if the sun was in my eyes or something. To film some barred owls. Using owl sounds through a speaker, Hockley met a new friend. Scary. <laughs> Neither Hockley nor the Hooter were harmed in the production, just a close encounter that even caught the attention of a viral video TV show. I love this kid. That's cute. So I love cute. this kid too. That was amazing. That was like a dream come true. That was so cool. <laughs> Though baseball is still his number one. So yeah, I was on uh, right this minute prior to this, but this one for some reason was just a bit more special and I think that's because I was actually interviewed on this one. So in the right this minute uh, feature, they kind of just took my the clips of my video and kind of did their own reaction to it, like what I'm doing right now. But I mean, shout out to right this minute, that was an amazing opportunity as well, don't get me wrong. But I just feel like I felt... Uh, the Czech News interview was a little bit more special to me just because I kind of got my own interview and that was really cool because uh, it's my first time actually being interviewed about something that I've done. So I just want to point that Super out. Super exciting. Hockley has made the most of his free time in discovering a new passion. I love making these videos. It's super fun having all my ideas come to life for viewers. He's very resilient. Um, you know, a lot of kids might have not have bounced back as fast. Just, we're really proud of him and how he's, he's kind of been able to channel his kind of his loss into something positive and really stay positive throughout this whole ordeal that we're all going through right now. Here's some. I just want to mention um, for people who don't know what my dad's saying when he says his loss. So I'm pretty sure they touched on this at the start, but yeah, I was supposed to play in um, the Canadian Championships. Now I had to actually make the team first, so there's no guarantees on that. But I kind of had the opportunity kind of stolen from me because of the pandemic. So this is kind of just like a thing that I did. Look, of course, I paused on this image. But this is kind of just a thing I did when I was bored. So that's what my dad means of uh, channeling his loss into something. So, yeah. Behind the scenes with Czech news. I'm. And as for what we can expect next. I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. Make sure to subscribe so you catch it. Yeah, that is the best part right there. I swear. 
this part right here probably got me the majority of my subscribers from this. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But this was an amazing opportunity, and I want to um, kind of set out the idea that if you're a YouTuber and you have something cool, like, for ex example, mine was a Bart Owl video, but if you have something that you think is newsworthy, potentially send it in. I mean, the first day that this went up, I think I got 100 subscribers. In total, I think I got close to 200 subscribers from this one news feature. So you can see, um, it was playing, let's see if I could find it. It was playing a little while back, right here, right here. Perfect. So let's just see. I think that's, okay, I think it's really pixelated, but I think that's like 128 subscribers, I'm not sure. But it's in the 100, let's just say 130 subscribers. Um, pretty much within a day of this going up, I hit like 210, then the next day it was like 230, and it just shot up um, faster, like the fastest I ever got. I think I was getting about 20 subscribers a day after, but the first day I was just boom. And of course you can see um, when they're playing this, they were not subscribed to me. They also did not like the video either. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. But let's go back to where we were, pretty much at the end. Um, I don't know, we'll just have to wait and see. Make sure to subscribe so you catch it. Alright, so that is the end. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm trying to pump up more videos for you guys. So if you are new here, please consider hitting subscribe. I am now starting to post videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Also with some shorts mixed in. So comment any ideas that you have for videos that I could film in the future. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. As always, leave a like if you liked it. Leave a dislike if you disliked it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.